All rise. Judge Vota B. Court is now in session. Judge, this is case number JVB1009, Moore versus Davis. Thank you. Okay, thank you. You all may be seated. Okay, Miss Moore? Yes, ma'am. You brought this case before the court. What's going on? Well, I, uh, my husband, or I'm sorry, ex-husband, uh, we have a mutually beneficial agreement with our children where he keeps them at night and I keep them during the day. Okay. But my job no longer allows me to stay home with them during the day, um, and I would like for them to go to daycare now during the day, and he does not want them to. Okay. How old are the children? Two years and 18 months. Okay. And... You you already picked out the daycare you want them to go to and everything like yes. that? Yes. How much is it? It is $500 a month. $500 for both children? For one child. So it's 1000 a month for both children. Oh, okay. It's a nationally accredited daycare. Okay, okay. That's not bad for two kids. What, what's your opposition to that? Uh, well, I don't think they should be in daycare. I think she should stay with them like we originally planned. I didn't get a chance to check out the daycare. I just uh, would rather them stay with her mom or, or one of our family members. Okay. Did you let him know which daycare? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. He was invited to go meet the teachers and do the tour, but he opted not to go. So you did have an opportunity to go? I, yeah, I was invited, but I don't, I don't really want my kids in that daycare. I don't want to be in that What's daycare. What's wrong with the daycare? They're full of germs. For I'm, starters, I this mean... This courtroom is full of germs. Okay, but children germs, they're next level. Okay, do they disinfect the daycare? I don't know that. They right, do. Right, you don't know. So you haven't even had the opportunity, you haven't taken the opportunity to try to do any kind of research. Okay. But the fact that there are germs at the daycare, I mean, that's not a good enough reason okay. why you don't want them in there. I would rather them be with family, people we know. Okay, I mean, that's a valid point. Your Honor, may I say something? Yes. I'm a doctor. I'm around germs all day. This okay. is one reason that we did not work out. It's a big problem. Uh, my ex-husband is a germaphobe, and he feels like if the children aren't kept in a bubble basically all day, that something terrible is going to happen to them. But that's no reason. That's no way for these kids to live. And I have to go save lives every day while he just sits in his uh, living room sealed, hermetically sealed off living room. That's and is, dramatic. Well, it's not that dramatic. What's dramatic is he wouldn't even show up for this tour at the daycare so he could see that it is a clean daycare. It's nationally accredited. Also, our children would have loved to have seen you. Okay. Look, with all due respect, I, I'm only in, I don't even want to be in this courtroom, Your Honor. It's Oh, I can understand um, that. Sometimes I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. So, I mean. yeah. but, but I'm here. I'm here for the kids, and, and uh, I'd, I'd, I would prefer if they weren't in a daycare, if they were at someone, uh, one of our family members, where we can, we can give them special instructions on cleaning and, and, and what the children need to, to stay healthy. Well, I definitely understand, and, you know, I agree. In a lot of cases, it is good for the children to be around a family member and everything like that. However, age two years old, and what was the other age? 18 months. 18 months. I mean, it's nothing wrong with them going to school already. You do want them to start learning a lot of things. You, I mean, you just do. There are some things that you guys are not going to be able to teach them at home. Not that you can't, it's just you may not have the time to do it. So I don't think that's necessarily a bad idea, but I do think it's a good idea for you to go and speak to the teachers, look around the daycare, see about the cleanliness of it and everything like that. And you guys should just work together and co-parent. So um, the agreement is just going to stand what it is. You guys keep doing your agreement where you have your time with the children, your time with the children and you keep rotating like that, nobody should pay child support in this type of situation. But what I will do to make sure that daycare does get paid is that you guys split it. So $1,000, you pay 500, you pay 500. And it's going to go through the Attorney General of Texas 
and that's just the best way to do it because that at least ensures that the children's daycare is paid for month to month. Oh, okay, but now I'm paying for the daycare that I don't want them to go to, and and I'm I have them at night. She's supposed to be responsible for the day. If I, if they were in night care, I would pay for it, and I just don't see how this is fair. She makes three times as much money as I do. Right, but you guys have been splitting the children, right? right? You've been splitting the children, and it's not a bad idea. And honestly, that's a very reasonable cost for two children at a daycare because a lot of times, especially a, the younger a child is, the 18-month-old, it could be more expensive than that. And I think that's fair. Or, you know, I could base, let me see, how much money you make a year? Let's see. Your document says 62000 Yes, ma'am. Would you like for me to base child support that you pay her off of $62,000 a year? Because I can assure you it would be more than five hundred. Then no. Okay. Well, you know, in that case, is there anything further between either no, of you? Your Honor. Thank Th you. That'll be all? That'll be all from you? Okay. Yes. Where you all are dismissed. I just want to go over what you all witnessed in the case of Moore and Davis. This is a unique situation because no one was ordered to pay child support because they had a shared custody agreement. The fact that dad did not like the school because he doesn't like germs or anything like that, that has nothing to do with what took place in this case. No child support is ordered, they have a shared custody agreement, they split daycare, and it's as simple as that. Do you know of anyone who's experienced a similar situation? Be sure to subscribe to our channel and make sure you comment below. You never know, their story may end up as a scenario on our show. After all, these kids aren't raised on air alone. Support Court with Judge Bondaby.